former chief executive of the Ghana Cocoa Board, Stephen Opuni, has been charged with causing financial loss to the state to the tune of 2.1 billion CDs. The charges were brought against him by the Attorney General today, along with Chief Executive of the Agriculture Ghana Limited, Seidu Agongo. The charges consist a total of 27 counts, ranging from defrauding by false pretense to money laundering, among others. The two are expected to appear in court for the first time on Friday, March 23. Now let's take a look at the charges and what they're said to have done. And I'm going to run through the details with you. Let's start with the names of the accused persons, of course, you know Stephen Kwabena Opuni, he's a former CEO of the Ghana Cocoa Board and Seidu Agongo, he is a CEO of Agriculture Company Limited. Now, the Agriculture Company Limited is a company that engaged in supply of fertilizers. Now, both of these men have been slapped with 25 counts, as I indicated, and those counts are ranging from charges of abetment of crime, namely defrauding by false pretense, false pretense willfully causing financial loss to the state willfully causing financial loss to the state contravention of public procurement act corruption of public officer money laundering manufacturing of fertilizer without registration and selling misbranded fertilizer and i'm going to go through that once more quickly for you so you can uh, have a grasp of the of the full picture it says both of these men have been slapped of course with 25 counts of uh, uh, causing financial loss to the state and these are the details one abetment of crime namely defrauding by false pretense defrauding by false pretense willfully causing financial loss to the state contravention of public procurement act corruption of public officer money laundering manufacturing of fertilizer without registration and selling misbranded fertilizer now let's get further into the details and these are the particulars of the offense being brought against these two gentlemen now mr seidu adgongo who is the agriculture uh, who is the ceo of the agriculture ghana limited between november 2014 in accra with intent to defraud the Ghana Cocoa Board, obtained the consent of Cocoa Board to part with, basically to give him 43,120,000 CDs by representing to, to Cocoa Board that he, Seidu Adongo, will supply little bit foliar fertilizer from Germany for application by farmers for the 2013-2014 cocoa season. A representation that he, Mr. Adongo, knew to be false at the time he made he made it to the Ghana Cocoa Board. Now on to Stephen Kwabna Opuni, Dr. Stephen Kwabna Opuni. Between November 2014 and November 2015, now the detail says that he abetted Seidu Agongo and Agriculture Ghana Limited to defraud Ghana Cocoa Board of 75,289,000 million two hundred and eighty-nine thousand three hundred and fourteen Ghana CDs, seventy-two pesos. Seidu Agongo of the Agriculture Ghana Limited between October 2015 and March 2016 with the intent to defraud Ghana Cocoa Board, obtain the consent of the Cocoa Board again to part with another sum of 98,935,974 cities, 50 pesos. Now, Stephen Kwabna Opuni again on the 10th of October 2014 agreed to be influenced by an amount of 25,000 CDs from Mr. Agongo. And it goes on to say that Mr. Agongo then took possession of the sum of 43,120,000 CDs, knowing it to be proceeds of crime. Seidu Agongo and the Agriculture Ghana Limited manufactured fertilizer in commercial quantities without registration. And finally, Mr. Seidu Agongo and the Agriculture Ghana Limited sold misbranded fertilizer to the Ghana Cocoa Board. And these are details of the 25 charges that have been brought against Mr. Uh, Dr. Stephen Kwabana Opuni, former CEO of the Ghana Cocoa Board, as well as um, Seidu Agongo, who is the CEO of Agriculture, who is the CEO of Agriculture um, Company Limited. So. We're looking at a sum of about 2.1 billion cities here, and you've seen the details now. Several amounts uh, that started changing, exchanging hands between uh, 2014 up until 2016. The final amount, of course, being 
43,000, uh, 43,120,000 CDs. And it's a, it's a developing story, it's a story. So along the line, we'll bring you more details in our subsequent bulletins. As soon as we have it, uh, they're supposed to go to court on the 23rd of March. We'll be there to bring you details.